Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing Vitamin Portable Power Station. This is the Flash Speed 1500. This thing has a 1500 watt output, 3000 watt surge. It has a lithium ion phosphate battery with 1548 watt hour. It weighs 41.4 pounds, nice and compact. It has a few features that I really like, like the storage on top. So you can keep all your wires and everything here. If you go around, it's always with you. I'll go through them, tell you what comes with it. It does have a display. I wish it was a little brighter, especially outside. Let's go through it, so some of the features. So when it comes to charging this thing off solar, I do have the solar panel right here. This is a Fiddleman 220 watt pro solar panel. But this thing will accept up to 400 watts of solar. So you are able to charge this in one day if you're gonna charge it off solar. Let's go through this real quick and we'll charge it up. I have a few things I wanna do. I wanna see if it'll run a large 8,000 BTU AC. This light right here is not to see if it can power a light bulb. It's to see if it has the UPS feature that I absolutely love. So let's get this test started. Let's take a quick overview of this product right here. So when it comes to charging, this is your charge space right here. Pick this up. You see right here, no brick. So you charge right from this cable. So this is your AC charge cable, no brick. You just plug it right here and that's it. That's all it takes to charge. Plug it in some AC. So we get 1,576 watts of charging. That should charge this up in no time. Your 12 volt DC input, 10 amps. Solar, 400 watts, AC, 1500. That's exactly what we get on AC. You got a DC plug right here, Anderson port. Come over here, you have 12 volt output. So like a cigarette lighter style. Some more 12 volt output right here. One, two, three, four. USB-A and two quick charge USB-C right here. Three fully grounded 120 volt plugs. The AC power right here. You do have the option of getting a jump, start, a jump starter right here. And you can do a external battery, it's an extended battery. It's pretty cool. The fan is kind of loud. It's not the quietest. You can see the fill the exhaust right here from the charging. And that's your intake. On the back side, we have this light. So if you go camping, you can turn on this light. This trail. Off. When it comes to this solar panel, I love this solar panel. Everything comes just just like this have this little pouch where you keep everything on here the solar panel has it too so you open this up and you have all your cables so i'm going to open up this solar panel one side down here and it kind of folds out all right guys check this out they have built-in feet also there you have it guys, the solar panel facing south. But let's get to charging and testing the vitamin. The first one we're gonna test is the UPS feature because without that feature, I'm not gonna like anything without the UPS feature. So the way I test it is, I'll put a load on it all right guys so just to demonstrate the ups feature which it is ups feature this light's pulling 44 the lights right there i'm going to unplug it and watch what happens i'll pull the plug the light never flashed and you can see right now we're pulling 45 watts right there i'm going to plug it back in once i plug it back in it switches over and it goes to zero on the portable power station still pulling the same power so it does have ups feature so you could plug your refrigerator into this and in the, the event that the power does go off your food won't go bad and it will just switch the battery 
once the light comes back it'll switch back to AC and recharge the unit that's cool if you come over here guys you can see it's a pure sine wave inverter it's showing the pure sine wave I hope you guys can see this real good there you go it does put out a pure sine wave so that checks out let's get into some uh, load testing first thing I'm gonna check out is if you take this and you go you're out camping ladies always like their blow dryers right so let's see if we can run a blow dryer off of this thing all right we have a blow dryer it's on it's on high so we're at about 700 1,100 no problem so if you take this damn thing ladies you can use your blow dryer Next thing we're going to try, we're going to go into the power tools. This is a Sawzall. We plug this on. Plug this right here. Let's see what we're pulling. All right. Right about 600 which is pretty cool. So you can use this around the yard and use it for power. In the case of a power outage, you might want to use a microwave. Let's plug this in. All right, guys, we got a small microwave. Put some water in there. All right, guys, we got the microwave plugged up. We have some water in here. Let's put one minute. One minute. This microwave pulls right about 1,030, so that's no problem for this. This will actually go all the way up, surge to 3,000, so I know it's no problem. I just want to show you guys that it can do it. So this would be a perfect option if you want to go camping or just having a portable power station. There you go. Nice and hot. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test the portable AC. This is the 8000 BTU AC. Let's get that hooked up. All right, guys, there you go. We have a portable AC hooked up, 8000 BTUs. Turn that on. Let's lower it all the way down. So while I'm waiting for the AC to come on, I'm gonna turn this DC on. And you can see right here, guys, it's pulling out 12.9 on the DC plug, the cigarette lighter style. That is a regulated output, 12.9. So no matter where that battery is, you'll be getting a regulated output. There you have it guys, full size, 8,000, a portable 8,000 watt BTU window unit. It's pulling right around 600 watts. So that is something that you can do with your Vitaman Flash Speed 1500. 630. So yes, it will run a portable AC. Okay guys, the last thing now is this heater. That's probably gonna be the heaviest load. So let's turn it on. This is a 1500 watt. This is a 1500 watt. Let's see what happens when I get the heater. So we have a fan, number one. It's gonna pull up to 500, almost 500, 485. Number two, seven something, 766. 
and turn it all the way up. See that fan came on the, on the power, power station. And there you have it. So this heater is pulling 1,222. So at this rate, you'll probably only be able to run this for about an hour. So it will run a heater. Okay guys, so there you have it. The only thing left to do is to see what it would, the max power is. So I'm gonna hook up the, uh, the lights and we're gonna take this thing to the max and see what you can get out of it. But all the essential and everything else that you should be running, you can run. So let's get that light, let's put it on there, use the uh, Variac and load okay, it so up. So we're gonna do the full load test. I have 2000 watts of lights. This is the Variac used to control how much power I put out to the light. And we have the power station right here. I am gonna use this monitor so we can see it. We should see the light a little better. Let's turn the AC on. We're at 95%. There you go, AC output on. Yeah, you can read it a little better once you're inside. Okay, max load test, let's start. So we have 2,000 watts of lights over here. And let's start putting some power on this thing. You see the lights came on. Going right around 600. Let's keep going. So the way I increase the power is to turn this knob right here. Keep turning it. Fan comes on right around 900. It says 1,005, and this is yeah, this is about it. This one says 175. This says 1,230. So it's off a little bit. They're close enough. Okay, we're at 1500. This one says 1530. There you have it. So it can hold its 1500 watt rated for quite a while. Let's see where it overheat loads. 18, 2000. And that's the rated watts for this right here. All right, it's going down now. So what it's doing is, it's lowering the voltage. It's at 98 volts. So what it did is lowered the voltage so it can hold the load. So even though I'm put all the way up, Let's lower it a little bit. See the voltage back up, 111. So once I get to about the 1500, it's good, good power, 111, that's perfect. But not 15. If you go over 15, it starts lowering the voltage so it can hold the wattage. But it's pretty good. It can hold 1500 watts. It's rated watts for this long. Absolutely no problem. That is a solid pass in my book. All right, guys, there you have it. The, the Vitaman absolutely carries its load. Full 1500 watts and good power. If you go over that, it just lowers the voltage. So when it comes to like heaters and power tools, that will be just fine. Anything that's sensitive, I wouldn't go past the 1500. So just keep that in mind if you're running like an AC or a compressor. All right, guys, there you have it. Vitamin flash speed, 1500. Guys, thanks for watching this quick review, testing the Vitamin flash speed 1500. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.